Alright, hello YouTube, and welcome to Oklahoma Diecast, episode, I think, three on reviews. Uh, this review will be about, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Uh, it's gonna be called The Fast Cash, as you've probably already seen. I'm gonna try to keep my voice up for this one. See if I can get this microphone up to my face good enough. Okay, so here's the thing about these cars. Um, I really like them, and I wanted to talk about the variations about them. I've only found, I found three variations today, obviously these two, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a couple minutes, or so, or whatever, but right now, what we're going to talk about is this car. I got a wall track holder for some, for about five, I think it cost about eight, nine dollars where I live. Uh, you might want to check your local department stores for to see how much those cost. But um, let's see, it's got the flames on it. Now I noticed something though. They have they put a lot of uh, realistic feeling uh, rivets in the front, and they only really focused on small things. The only thing that the small they didn't wait. I just realized race cars do not have sti they have stickers. This doesn't even have stickers on it. But uh, let's see, pretty cool. Flames. I like the tinted windshield that's orange, the red wheels, uh, everything about it is pretty cool. And this is called the Circle Tracker. And the reason I'm about to show you the logo for Hot Wheels, which is right there on the car. Um, look, that's the brand new logo, right? Well, you know how, if, you probably don't, but if you do, you would know that the old, hot, this is a 2012 model of Fast Cash. So is this one. I, th I think this one might be 2011. But here's the thing about it. Whenever I looked at this car, just now, like a couple minutes ago, whenever I was first trying to record this, yeah, I fail. Well, I realized this one has more detail on it. And also, if you look, it's got the old Hot Wheels logo on it. It has a curled tail on the Hot Wheels logo. Let's just get this car up. Uh, and this car has the old, or I mean new one, so just take old logo, new logo, and I think this one's 2011 and this one's 2012, and I was like, hey, what's happening, right? These are supposed to be like old logos and whatever. Well, yeah, so I'm just kidding. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, I also found a third variation. I didn't look at, I don't think it had any logos on it. It was like a no tampoed version of this. Except the base ish, like the middle, instead of black, it wasn't chrome. This part wasn't really chrome. It was more of a uh, just grayish, and um, it was all red. No tampos, I don't think. And the black part was all red. So I don't know about that. But if you guys have any variations for the circle tracker, uh, this car right here. Please tell me about them and send me an image of them. And uh, this is Oklahoma Diecast signing off. Doobie doop.